Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below and subscribe to join in on the fun. For today's tutorial, we're making a flowy tank top. For this casual make, a cami meets superhero and great things ensue. There's texture, ribbing and the simplest of straps and we finished it all in a day's work. Speaking of, if you're looking for a single day project or something to last you a few seasons, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of crochet tutorials and patterns for every appetite with more dropping weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now it's time to get on the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category through yarn will work, but I used a total of 105 grams of yarn and that's 325 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what non-conventional sport you are good at. I am surprisingly really good at bowling. <laughs> Details for the giveaway down below. We're using 4 stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. This tutorial is made for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're all going to grab our category 3 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're all going to grab our 5mm hook and we're all going to start by making an odd number chain that starts one inch underneath our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be so you can make this cropped or full length. I'm going to make mine cropped so I'm going to start by making a chain of 35 and that's 8 inches or 10 centimeters. Alrighty, so now that we have our chain, before we get started on our first row, we're all going to insert our stitch marker into an odd numbered stitch from the bottom, that's where our hook is, the height that we'd like for our bottom band to be because it's all going to be made in one panel. I'd like for mine to be just roughly one and a half inches or three centimeters so I inserted my stitch marker into the seventh stitch from the bottom. And now from here we're going to get started on our Suzette stitch detail. So what we're all going to do is block off that last chain and do a chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. And into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook we're going to insert with our first Suzette stitch set and that's going to be one single and one double crochet into that same chain. So into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook we're going to insert with a single crochet so pull through, yarn over, pull through two, that's our single and then to do our double we're going to yarn over into that same chain, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We have one single and one double crochet all into that same chain and that is our first Suzette stitch set. We're going to do this again. Now after every Suzette stitch set we're going to be skipping that following stitch and then into the stitch right after that we're going to do another set. We need to skip the following stitch from our set because that double crochet actually counts as that stitch and if we work directly into there we're going to be accidentally increasing. So we're going to skip one into the following again a single and a double crochet. And we're going to continue to do this until we are one stitch right before our stitch marker. Now I just have one more set left to do so I'm going to do that with you as well. We're going to skip that following stitch and into the next with a single and a double crochet. And once we've made our way down we shall have one available chain left right before our stitch marker stitch and all we're going to do is yarn over, skip that following stitch and then into our stitch marker stitch we're going to insert with a half double crochet. So I'm actually going to take my stitch marker out for now. Yarn over, skip that following stitch like I said, and then into that following chain, insert with one half double crochet, and our bottom band is all finished. Now just to double check our work, we should always have the same amount of stitches as chains that we blocked off for our bottom band. So since I blocked off seven stitches, I should have a total of seven stitches here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And go ahead and insert your stitch marker 
into the top of that half double crochet just so we know where the bottom band starts and ends. From here, we're going to be putting one half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last chain. So yarn over, into that following chain, pull through, pull through all three, and I'll meet you back when we have one chain left. Alright, so we've made our way all the way down with our half double crochets and we have all left our last chain. Now into that last chain, we're all going to do an increase of three half doubles. So yarn over, and into that last chain, we're going to insert with one, into that same last chain with a second half double, and then into that same last chain with a third half double crochet, and now our row one, or any odd number row, is now complete. So let's get started on our row two. We're going to chain two and flip our work. Now for every even number row, we're going to start with an increase of two back loop half double crochets. So yarn over. Into that last stitch from our previous row, we're going to insert with one back loop half double, and then into that same stitch, a second back loop half double crochet. And then from here, we're going to continue with one back loop half double crochet until we reach our stitch marker, and then I'll meet you back. We have just done our back loop half double crochets, working our way all the way down until we have reached our stitch marker. Now once we've reached our stitch marker, we're going to do the bottom band again. So we're going to take this out for now and start with our Suzette stitch set into that following stitch. So into that stitch, which should be the top of the half double crochet from our previous Suzette stitch detail, we're going to insert with a single and a double crochet. And don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the top of our single crochet. And that's our first set finished. Again, we're going to skip the following stitch and into the stitch right after that. Another single and double crochet into the same stitch. We're going to continue to do our Suzette stitch sets until we all have two stitches left. Now I only have one more set left to do, so I'm going to do that with you. We're going to skip one and into the next, a single and a double crochet. Now from here, we should all have one, two stitches left. To keep the bottom of our piece nice and blunt, we're going to be putting one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over, we're going to skip that second to last, and then into that last, insert with a half double crochet. Now our first two rows are finished. Now it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows, but I'm just going to do the following two rows with you just to make sure we have it down. But just some really quick tips that I have for you. Every bottom band detail will have the same amount of sets per row. So just to count my knot together, here's one, two, three Suzette stitch sets. And then for my following row, I have one, two, three Suzette stitch sets here. And it should be the same amount of stitches as our previous row's bottom band detail as well. So for me, it was seven. So counting from my stitch marker to the end, I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven would be the top of that half double crochet. So once we have that down, we're going to chain one, and flip our work, and then we're going to do our Suzette stitch sets until we are one stitch right before our stitch marker. So for every odd number row, we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch from our previous row with a single and a double, skip a stitch, and then into that next stitch, another single and a double, and another really quick tip, every Suzette stitch set will be worked into our previous row's single crochet stitch to get the texture that we want. So we're going to skip this first stitch. We can tell that this is a double crochet from our previous row because it's a little bit taller than the stitch right after that but just into the stitch with a single and a double. And then I just have one more left, so I'm going to do that with you. Skip a stitch with a single and a double. And then we should be one stitch right before our stitch marker stitch. All we're going to do is yarn over into our stitch marker stitch, insert with one half double crochet, and now our bottom band is all finished. And don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the top of that half double crochet just so we know the bottom band starts and ends. Now from here, we're going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we all have one stitch left. We are now at the end of our row three and we should have all left that last stitch so we can now do our increase together. So at the end of every odd number row, we're going to close off the row with an increase of three back loop half double crochets. So there's one, into that same last back loop, two, same last back loop with three back loop half double crochets. Then to get started on our following row, we're going to chain two and flip. And to get started on any even number row, we're going to start it with an increase of two back loop half doubles. 
sew into that first stitch with one same first back loop with a second back loop half double crochet then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker we are at the end of our row four we have just reached our stitch marker and now we're going to close off our row with our bottom band so I'm just going to take my stitch marker out for now and into that following stitch I'm going to insert with my first Suzette stitch set which is a single and a double and don't forget to insert your stitch marker into that single crochet because this is where the bottom band starts and ends then skip a stitch into the next another Suzette stitch set and continue this until we all have two stitches left all right so we should all have one two stitches left and all we're going to do to make sure that the bottom of this piece stays blunt we're going to yarn over insert our hook into that last stitch from our previous row and we are all done from here we're just going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have an underarm portion that can reach from mid underarm making sure that the tail end still stays at one inch underneath our underarm until we have a portion that reaches to the front of our body now once we have that i will meet you guys back right after an even number row so we can get started on the top detail alrighty we are back I have just finished up the first half of my underarm portion for my front panel I have a total of six rows and my width is roughly two inches or five centimeters we should have all ended along the bottom so now what we're all going to do is do our following row so chain one flip our work making sure that we're starting off the row with our bottom band so our Suzette stitch details and then we're all going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch leaving the last three stitches and then i'll meet you back to show you how we're going to be doing our top detail all right so we are back we have made our way all the way down leaving the last three stitches and we're about to get started on our top detail detail so what we're going to do is do a suzette stitch set into that following stitch so just directly into that next stitch insert with a single crochet and double crochet that's one Suzette stitch set and this is going to be the same for every size since it all starts the same and then we should have two stitches left so into that last stitch we're going to do an increase of three half double crochets so into that stitch there is one same last stitch with two same last stitch with three half double crochets and whenever we're working on our odd number row we do want to make sure that we're inserting a stitch marker into that first single crochet that we made for our very first Suzette stitch set so we know where the Suzette stitch top detail starts and ends kind of like how we have it in for the bottom so let's all get started on our following top detail row which is going to be everyone's second row and this is going to start off the same for everyone as well so chain two and flip so into that first stitch we're going to start with an increase of two half double crochets so there's one and then there's two now from here we're all going to do our Suzette stitch sets until we all have one more Suzette stitch set than our previous row so making sure that we're not counting that increase we're going to take a look at our previous row and we should all have just one Suzette stitch set so for this row we're going to do two Suzette stitch sets so how that's going to work is after we do our increase of two we're going to skip that following stitch into the next insert with our first Suzette stitch set so that's a single and a double into that same stitch then we're going to skip that following stitch and then into the next is going to be our second Suzette stitch set it should be our stitch marker stitch so take that out for now and we're going to insert with a single and a double and just like how we did for the bottom band we're going to close off our Suzette stitch set with one half double crochet so after that last set we're going to skip one into that following with one half double crochet and we do want to make sure that we're inserting our stitch marker into the top of that half double crochet so we know where this ends as well now from here we're going to do our half double crochets into every back loop until we reach our stitch marker for the bottom band then do our Suzette stitch bottom band detail then to get started on our following row chain one start it off with our Suzette stitch bottom band detail put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker stitch and I'll show you guys how we're going to do our top detail just once more all right so we are back we have finished up our second top detail row at the end of that row we made our way back up with our third top detail row until we reached our stitch marker stitch now from here we're all going to do our Suzette stitch sets until we have two stitches left now as a really quick tip every row will have one additional Suzette stitch set than our previous row so since our previous row had two sets this one that we're about to do is going to have three so I'm going to take my stitch marker out for now and then just into that following stitch insert with my first Suzette stitch set so a single and a double 
Make sure you're inserting your stitch marker into that single crochet so that we know where this Suzette stitch detail starts and ends. Skip a stitch into the next, a single and a double. And just continue to do our Suzette stitch sets until we all have two stitches left. And this is my last set. And just to make sure that everyone is on the same page, like I said, our last row should have had two Suzette stitch sets. So this one should have had three. There's one, two, three, and two stitches left. So into that last stitch, since we're at the end of an odd number row, do an increase of three half double crochets into that last stitch. And that's that. Now let's just get started on the following row. So chain two and flip your work. Now doing any even number row, we're gonna start it with an increase of two half doubles. So there's one, there's two, and then after that increase, we're gonna skip that following stitch and then into the next, insert with a single and a double. And then we're just gonna continue to do our Suzette stitch sets until we have one more additional set than our previous row. So since our previous row had three sets, this one should have four, but just as another really quick tip, whenever we're working on our even number row, working down towards the bottom, everyone's last Suzette stitch set should be worked into our stitch marker stitch, and that will give us one additional set from our previous row. So I just did my increase in one set. So just to show you guys, here is my second set. Skip a stitch, here is my third. And then we should have four sets for this row. Skip a stitch and then into that following stitch, which is our stitch marker stitch, our fourth Suzette stitch set. And now that we have our one, two, three, four Suzette stitch sets, we're going to close it off with a half double crochet. So yarn over, skip a stitch, and into that next stitch, a half double crochet. And don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the top of that half double crochet. And that's it. From here, we're just gonna continue to repeat our two previous rows, making sure that we are all bringing our stitch marker with us because that's the easiest way to figure out where we need to start and end our Suzette stitch detail. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have a portion that can reach from mid underarm over to the side of the base of our neck. Then I'll meet you guys back right after an even number row. So along the bottom, so we can get started on the neckline. Alrighty, so we are back. My underarm portion is completely finished. I have a total of 16 rows. My width is roughly five inches or 13 centimeters. And now we're ready to get started on our neckline portion. So what we're all going to do is since we all should have ended along the bottom, we're going to do our bottom band Suzette stitch detail, working our way up. And then one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. So pretty much the same way that we've been doing our previous row so far. And then I'll meet you guys back. So we are back. We made our way all the way up until we've reached our stitch marker. And we're gonna get started on this Suzette stitch detail pretty much the same way that we have been getting started on it for all the other rows. So just into that following stitch, start with our Suzette stitch sets and continue on with our Suzette stitch sets the way that we've been doing, leaving the last two stitches. And don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the top of that first single crochet as well. All right, so we've done our Suzette stitch details all the way up, leaving the last two stitches. Now all we're gonna do, since we need the top to now be blunt as well, we're gonna skip that second to last stitch and then half double crochet into that last. So yarn over, skip that second to last and insert into that last stitch with one half double crochet. Now from here, we're gonna get started on our following row. So we're all going to chain one and flip our work. Now we aren't doing any increases or decreases. So just get started on the first Suzette stitch set. Insert your hook into that first stitch with our first set. So a single and a double. Skip that following stitch into the next with a single and a double and continue on with this until our last Suzette stitch set is worked into our stitch marker stitch. All right, so we've made our way all the way down. We're about to do our last Suzette stitch set into our stitch marker stitch. I just wanted to do that together even though everything else is pretty much the same. So into that Suzette stitch set. So into that stitch marker stitch, our last Suzette stitch set for this row. Yarn over, skip a stitch and half double crochet into that following stitch, remembering to insert your stitch marker into that half double crochet. Then from here, one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, closing off the row with our Suzette stitched bottom band. Now from here, we're just gonna continue to repeat our two previous rows, which is gonna be done pretty much the same way as our underarm portion. We just aren't doing any increases along the tops, so it's a little bit easier to keep track of. But yeah, just continue to repeat these two rows until our neckline portion can now reach over to about mid chest. Then I'll meet you back along the top right after an odd number row so we can do our middle row and then mirror everything we did here on the other side. And just as a really quick tip, every odd number row is going to have one more stitch than our previous even number row. And then every even number row is going to have the same amount of stitches as our previous odd number row. Alrighty, so we are back. 
I have just finished up the first half of my panel. I have a total of 25 rows. My width is roughly seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. Now we're all going to do our middle row and then we're going to mirror everything we did here on the other side. So our middle row is actually just going to be a continuation of our previous rows that we've been doing. So everyone's middle row will have one more extra Suzette stitch set than our previous row. But we're just doing that so we have a definitive middle row so it comes to a point and then we're going to work our way back up. So just do the following row in a row sequence. So Suzette stitches all the way down until the last Suzette stitch set is worked into our stitch marker stitch. And then half double crochet all the way down making sure that we're not forgetting to do the bottom band. Then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. Alrighty, so we are back. Our middle row is now complete. Now what we're all going to do from here is, since we should all be along the bottom, get started on our following row. So do our Suzette stitches for the same amount of Suzette stitches that we've been doing for the bottom band. And then now we're going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we are one stitch past our stitch marker stitch. Alright, so we are back. We have made our way up with our back loop half double crochets and like I said in our previous clip we are one stitch past our stitch marker. We should all have two additional back loop half double crochets then our previous row and into that following stitch we're going to do our first Suzette stitch set. So that following stitch that we should have from our previous row should be a single crochet and we can tell because it's a little bit shorter. So just into that following stitch one Suzette stitch set. So into there just a single and a double. And just like how we've been doing for our previous rows, we do want to make sure that we're inserting our stitch marker into the top of that single crochet for our first Suzette stitch set. Then from here, continue on with our regular Suzette stitch sets that we've been doing. So skip a stitch into the following, which should be a single crochet, a Suzette stitch set until we all have two stitches left. And into that last stitch, insert with one half double crochet because it needs to be blunt and then I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Alrighty, so we are back. We have just finished up our first row for the decrease side of our top detail. We're not technically decreasing. We should still have the same amount of stitches for every row for this section. We're just decreasing the detail. Now what we're going to do from here, since we're along the top now, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and then do our Suzette stitch sets until we are one stitch left right before our stitch marker. And then I'll meet you guys back. And just as a really quick tip, for this row that we're about to do, we should have the same amount of sets as our previous row. So as an example, this previous row had a total of 15 sets. My following row will have 15 sets again. All right, so we've made our way down with our Suzette stitch sets and we should all have one stitch left right before our stitch marker. And all we're gonna do is half double crochet into that stitch marker stitch. So yarn over into that stitch. I'm gonna take my stitch marker out for now because we're going to need to insert it into the top of our half double crochet and insert with one half double crochet and insert your stitch marker into the top of that stitch. Then from here, one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches until we're ready to do our bottom band. Once we have that, chain one, flip our work, and then I'll talk you guys through how we're going to do the following rows because it's just going to be a repeat of our two previous rows. All right, so we are back. Our first two decrease of our top detail rows are finished. And now from here, we're going to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as our neckline portion, making sure that we're not including that middle row. So just as a recap, all we're going to do, since we should all be along the bottom, is chain one, flip our work, do our bottom band, and back loop half double crochets until we are one stitch past our stitch marker stitch. That should give us two additional back loop half double crochets from our previous row if you'd like to double check. And then from there, Suzette stitch all the way down, closing off the row with a half double crochet. That Suzette stitch detail should leave us with one less Suzette stitch set than our previous row. Then to get started on the following row, it's going to be done exactly the same way as our previous row that we just did together. So do our Suzette stitch sets all the way down until we are one stitch before our stitch marker stitch. Then we're going to half double crochet into that stitch marker stitch, making sure that we're bringing our stitch marker with us for every row. And then back loop half double crochets and closing off the row with our Suzette stitch sets. Get this portion all finished up and then I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on the underarm portion together. Alrighty, so we are back. The entirety of our neckline is all finished. I have a total of 35 rows. My width is roughly 10 inches or 25 centimeters. And now we're going to do the decrease portion of our top band to match this one that we did over here. So we all should have ended along the top. We're going to start the following row with a chain two and flip our work. And we're gonna start with a decrease of two. 
So what we're going to do from here is yarn over into that first stitch. We're going to insert, pull through into that following stitch, insert, pull through for a total of four loops on our hook, then yarn over, pull through all four of those loops. And then into that following stitch, do our first Suzette stitch set. So into that following stitch, which should be a single crochet from our previous row, insert with a single and a double. And the rest of this row is going to be per usual. So I'm just going to talk you guys through it. We're going to continue on with our Suzette stitch set until we have one stitch left right before our stitch marker. Half double crochet into that stitch marker stitch, remembering to insert your stitch marker into the top of that half double crochet. Then one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches, making sure that we close off the row with our Suzette stitch bottom band. Then at the end of the row, we're going to chain one, start the following row off with our Suzette stitch bottom band, pull one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we are one stitch past where our stitch marker is, and then do our Suzette stitch sets all the way up until we all have three stitches left. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can close off the following row. Alrighty, so we are back. We have finished up our first decrease row, made our way all the way down, then started our second decrease row, made our way all the way up, leaving the last three stitches. And now we're going to do this decrease together. So when we have three stitches left, all we're going to do is yarn over, skip that third to last stitch, and then do a decrease of two half double crochets into the second to last and into the last. So into that second to last stitch, pull through, into that last stitch, pull through for a total of one, two, three, four loops on our hook, then yarn over, pull through all four of those loops, and that's it. So from here, we're just gonna continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as this increased side that we had right over here. Now, once we have the same amount of rows all finished up, I'll meet you guys back just so I can talk you guys through how we're going to finish up with the rest of our underarm. Alrighty, so we are back. I have just finished up the decrease portion of my top band. I now have a total of 45 rows. My width is roughly 13 inches or 33 centimeters. And now from here, we're just going to finish up with our underarm portion. So what we're all going to do from here, since we all should have ended along the top, is chain two and flip our work. So getting started on our first underarm row, we're all going to start with a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So yarn over into that first stitches back loop, pull through into that following stitches back loop, pull through and then into that last stitches back loop, pull through, pull through all one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. Then from here, we're going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, remembering that we are going to close off our row with the same bottom border that we've been doing this entire time. Then at the end of this row, chain one, flip our work, start off with our Suzette stitch detail bottom band, then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two stitches, and then we're going to close off the row with a decrease of two back loop half doubles. All right, so we are back. We have just finished up our first underarm row, made our way down. Then at the end of that row, chain one, flip our work, and made our way all the way back up, making sure that we are still doing the Suzette stitch bottom band detail. And we have left the last two stitches, and now we're going to end the row off with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So yarn over, and into that second to last back loop, pull through, and into that last back loop, pull through, should have one, two, three, four loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through all four, and that's it. From here, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows. So every even number row is going to start with a decrease of three back loop half doubles and then finish up the row. Then our following row is going to end with a decrease of two back loop half doubles, kind of like how we just did. And we're just going to continue to repeat those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our first underarm portion right over here. So all of those rows that we did that did not have any of the Suzette stitches along the top. Now, once we have the same amount of rows, do a chain up of one and cut. And just as a really quick tip, the last row that we should have should have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made when we got started on our piece. Then I'll meet you back so we can get started on the back panel. Alrighty, so we are back and the entirety of my front panel is all finished. Now I have a total of 51 rows. My width is now 15 inches or 38 centimeters and I'm all finished. So I did do a chain up of one and cut. Now we're all gonna get started on our back panel. Now the back panel is gonna start off exactly the same way as the front panel. So I'm just gonna talk you guys through it. We're all gonna start by making a chain for the same amount of chains that we made when we got started on our front panel's underarm. Then we're going to do the same amount of rows with the same types of increases, making sure that we are still doing the Suzette stitch bottom band along the bottom, 
for the same amount of rows as our front panel's underarm. So those are all those half double crochet rows that don't have any Suzette stitches into the top of them. So I have a total of six rows, and then my following row starts with our Suzette stitch detail. So I'm going to get my first six rows finished up, and then I'll meet you back to show you how we're going to get started on our row number seven. So I am back. The underarm portion for my back panel is all finished up. I have the same amount of rows as my front panel. So since we counted that out together, I had a total of six for my front. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six for my back. So since we're along the bottom, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and then do our work all the way up, leaving the last stitch so we can do an increase together. But we do want to make sure that we are still keeping up with the Suzette stitch bottom band along the bottom. All right, so we are back. I've made my way all the way up leaving my last stitch. Now what we're going to do from here all the way up until we have the same amount of rows as our top details as our front panel is just an increase of two along the top of our piece. Now we all wanna make sure that we're doing an increase of two instead of alternating between two to three for this section because we wanna make sure that the increases match the increases for the front panel. So each of these rows from here until we have the same amount of rows will just have one additional stitch from our previous row because we want the width of our back panel to have the same amount of stitches as our front panel. So from here, start with an increase of two back loop half doubles. So yarn over into that last stitches back loop, insert with two back loop half doubles, and that is this row. Then since we're along the top, we're all gonna chain two, flip our work, and then start with an increase of two back loop half doubles. So in that first stitches back loop, there's one, there's a second back loop half double crochet and then one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches, making sure that we're closing off the row with our Suzette stitch bottom band. And all we're going to do from here is continue to repeat our two previous rows. So now just double check and making sure that we're only doing an increase of two back loop half doubles into the top of our row until we all have the same amount of rows as our top band increase portion. Now, just to let you guys know, the increase for this portion may not look like the increase for the first half of our underarm that we did, but that's just because the increases are different. So it may be a little steep and then start to go straight a little bit, but that's completely normal, just like how mine is here, making sure that the numbers are right and more important. But honestly, it'll all end up evening out once when it's all seamed up anyways. So all we're going to do from here, like I said, continue to repeat these rows. Once we have the same amount of rows that we have over here, I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on the width of our back panel. Alrighty, so I am back. I have just finished up the second increase portion for our back panel. We should all have the same amount of rows as our front panel's total increase portion. So I had a total of 16 rows here. So I have 16 rows here. This width is roughly five inches or 13 centimeters. And now we're just going to do the back width. So it's just going to be the same rows that we've been doing but without any increases or decreases along the top. So since we should all be along the bottom, do our Suzette stitch band detail, work our way all the way up with our back loop half double crochets working into every stitch. Then we're gonna chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and closing off the row with the same Suzette stitch bottom band detail that we've been doing this entire time. Then we're just gonna continue to repeat those rows with absolutely no increases and no decreases until we have the same amount of neckline rows as the front panel. And then once we do, I'll meet you guys back just so we can do our underarm portion together. Now just as one more really quick tip before I let you guys go. The amount of stitches that we should have for this row should be the same amount of stitches that we have for the same row as the front panel. So just double check and make sure that all those numbers are the same and then I will meet you guys back. Alrighty, so we are back. I have just finished up the width of my neckline for the back panel and now we're going to finish up our back panel with our two different underarm sections. So this first one, we're gonna be doing a decrease of two into the top of every row similarly to how we did an increase of two at the top of these rows. So since we should all be along the top, let's all chain two and flip. So what we're gonna do from here is yarn over, find that first stitches back loop, pull through, next stitches back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four, then one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, closing off the row with our Suzette stitch bottom band. At the end of that row, chain one, flip our work, Start our following row off with our Suzette stitch bottom band and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two. And then I'll meet you back to do a decrease of two together once more. So our first decrease row is all finished up and we have also made our way all the way up with our second decrease row, leaving the last two stitches. And now we're all gonna do a decrease of two back loop half doubles together. So we're gonna yarn over. Insert your hook into that second to last back loop, pull through into that last back loop, 
pull through, yarn over, pull through all four. And that's it. Now from here, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as the top detail portion that had our Suzette stitches in it. Now it should be the same amount of rows that we had when we got started with the increase of two back loop half doubles for the increase portion. And then once we have that all finished up, I'll meet you guys back so we can finish up with the rest of our underarm. Alrighty, so we are back. I have just finished up the first half of our decrease portion for our back panel for our second underarm. I have a total of 45 rows, which should be the same amount of rows that we had for the front panel when we finished up with our top detail. And now we're going to finish up with our underarm. The underarm is going to be done exactly the same way as the front panel. So I'm just going to talk you guys through it. So everyone should have ended along the top once when they finished up the top detail. What we're going to do from here is chain two, flip our work. Start our falling row off with a decrease of three back loop half double crochets, then finish up the row. At the end of the row, chain one, flip our work, start that following row, making your way all the way up and closing the row off with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. Then just continue to repeat those two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as the front panel's underarm portion. And just as a really quick tip, once we reach that last row, we again, we should all end on the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. And once we do, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can seam everything together. All right, so I am back. I'm all finished up with my back panel. I have the same amount of rows as my front panel, and now we're going to seam it all together. So let's place our front panel on top of our back panel. Next, we're all going to be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Then we are going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and pull through both loops on our hook, chain one, to secure everything down, and now we're going to do a single crochet seam. So start by finding that first stitch into the front panel, insert, first stitch into the back panel, insert, and single crochet everything together. Let's do this again. Into that first stitch into the front panel, insert, next stitch into the back panel, insert, and single crochet, and that's it. We're gonna continue doing this, making our way all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left to work into, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat everything we just did here on the other side. All right, so we are back. Everything is all seamed up, and now we're ready to get started on our strap. So first things first, let's all make sure that our work is flipped right side out, right side up, meaning all the seams that we just did are now along the inside, and then we're going to be inserting our hook into the top corner stitch of the back panel. And the corner stitch is going to be in between our first back panel with row and our last underarm row. We're going to single crochet across our back panel, so insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure, and we're gonna alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. So this is my first side row right here. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with one single crochet. This is my following side row. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with two single crochets. So there's one and there is two. Let's do this again. This is my following side row find that top loop, insert with one single, into my following top loop, insert with two singles. So there's one, and then into that same top loop with a second single crochet, and we're going to continue doing this un until we make our way across the back panel. All right, so we're back, and we've made our way all the way across with our single crochet row, and now we're going to make a chain that reaches up and over our shoulder that reaches the top corner stitch of our front panel. Now, first things first, when it comes to making our chain, we're gonna be doing two things. We're going to be forming the width of our neckline and then also the width of our armhole. So when we're making our chain, making sure that we're still placing our first underarm row, still roughly one inch underneath our underarm, we're trying on our piece, making sure that everything fits. Now, if it's a little bit too tight, make sure that you're adding some chains or if you would like it a little bit tighter, make sure that you're taking away some chains. But I have already figured mine out. I need roughly eight inches or 20 centimeters so I made a chain of 35. And now we're going to single crochet into the top corner stitch of the front panel. So what we're going to do is single crochet it into the top corner stitch of the front panel. And that single crochet is going to connect our chain to the front panel, but it's also going to count as our first single crochet because working our way across the front panel, again, just like our back panel, we're going to be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So we're gonna start by finding the top corner stitch of the front panel insert your hook into there, like I said, with a single crochet. Now into our following side row, insert into there with two single crochets. So there is one, there is two. And then again, into our following side row, find that top loop, insert with a single. Into our following side row, insert with two single. So there's one, 
and then there's two. And we're just going to continue doing this, making our way all the way across our front panel until we reach this corner right over here. Once we do, we're going to make the same chain that we made and then slip stitch it into the chain space that we made when we got started on this chain. Now, once we've slip stitched it into that chain, again, just double check and make sure that everything is fitting for our neckline and for our armholes. Now would be the time to adjust it. Once we made our way all the way around, I will meet you back. Alrighty, so we are back. Our single crochet and chain row for our straps are all finished up. We did slip stitch into that chain space and did a chain up of one and cut. And now we're going to clean up our underarm and single crochet around our chain just to sturdy everything up. So this is going to be pretty easy. We're all going to make sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up, and then insert our hook into the stitch that we have that's nearest to our side seam. And from here, we're just going to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row, making our way all the way up. Now, once we reach our chain, just put one single crochet into every chain and then alternate between one to two single crochet into every side row again, slip stitch into that chain space, do a chain of one cut and then repeat everything we did here on the other side. And then I will meet y'all back. Alrighty, so we are back. Our single crochet row along our armholes is all finished up and we are all done. Last thing we're gonna have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch y'all the next one. Bye.